Hello, everybody, Metatron number one, blah, 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 blah. You guys know this by now. Anyway, wow, I went less than an entire two or three months between uploads. Wow, um, imp it's impressive what you can do when you actually try to do things. But yeah, um, some things have changed, actually, somehow. Um, at least a decent amount. There's not a whole lot. But I also realized in some of my past videos, I've, especially like all the ones where, I, where I've been like recently down here and stuff, I haven't really gone in deep in detail, mostly because my uh, camera keeps uh, messing with me, so I keep having to rush through things. Now that I have everything hopefully figured out, I'm going to try and go through every little detail, and we can just talk about random crap along the way. Who We'll see. What, we'll, we'll, what, whatever happens, happens. And I'll point out the new stuff as we go along. There's a decent amount of stuff, but I guess we'll just start over here. With the uh, core class small stuff and whatever, with the Kingdom Arc, with the Teletran 1, the uh, core class Optimus and Bumblebee 2 pack, the Kingdom Slammer, Siege, Brunt, the K Kingdom, I think, yeah, it was Kingdom, Kingdom Soundwave, Megatron, and Starscream, with Legacy, Skywarp, and Thundercracker. I know Thundercracker was Evolution, but whatever, don't care. And this is the Titans Return Trypticon, of course, with Full Tilt. And the uh, Studio Series 86 Wheelie and Daniel, the ones that came with the Dinobots. I only own them because they came with the Dinobots. I did not want them, but now they are permanent victims of Trypticon. And moving up to my Unicron Trilogy shelf, I have the, as I mentioned last episode, Last video, the uh, Legacy United Cybertron Hotshot, the uh, Legacy Cybertron, well, obviously it's just Cybertron, that's the only version I've heard that exists, Override, the uh, Powerlink Super Hotshot, whatever, whatever you want to call it, from that Amazon exclusive, I think it was Amazon exclusive, two-pack with uh, his Minicon Jolt from Armada, the Armada Commander Class Optimus Prime from Legacy. The more legacy, actually, all basically all of this is legacy. Armada Megatron, the Armada Star Scream with the Star Saber that is comically tiny. I I'm not a huge fan of it, but I wanted someone to have a Star Saber, so he's gonna. I I was at one point I was debating on whether or not I wanted to give it to Hotshot here, but I think this this color scheme of Hotshot is more interesting with the guns personally. So I just gave it to Starscream because giving it to like Optimus here, it would look even more stupidly tiny. And Megatron, it just doesn't fit him. I, I don't like having Megatron with the Star Saber. So it's just stuck with Starscream. But in re it, it, in I would have liked if his wing sword was better and just I could have just used that. Because I, I like Starscream having the Wing Sword. Anyway, I'm talking way too much about the Wing Sword and Star Saber. Uh, here's our Legacy Tidal Wave and Cybertron Starscream and my original Power Links Thundercracker Super Starscream, whatever you want to call him. Armada was weird, and I uh, I forget what this Minicon's name is. It's the Swindle Repaint. Uh, uh. I, I don't remember his name. If you know mini cons, you'll know them. I I I can't I can't remember. <laughs> and moving on to the original G1 stuff, I guess. There's my knockoff Optimus, my Walmart reissue Bumblebee and Tailgate, and the knockoff Bumble That's not Bumblebee, that is Grimlock. The uh reissue Blaster. He is Moved a little bit. There we go. And the reissue tracks, an original cup, and the Walmart reissue hot rod, as well as the Walmart reissue Optimus Primal. And then over here, we have G1 
Astro Train, Blitzwing, some form of reissue, Starscream, The Sound Wave, Rumble, Frenzy, Ravage, Laserbeak, Buzzsaw, the retro reissue Starscream, and an original Transmetal Megatron, and Dinobot 2, Transmetal 2, Dinobot, whatever you want to call him, and the Walmart reissue for Beast Wars Megatron. Um, and I guess before we move on, before I forget these guys up here with my random cheap smaller things, with my uh, Angry Birds Transformers here with the Grimlock, Jazz, well it's Energon Grimlock, I believe it's Ultimate Optimus Prime, Energon Optimus, Ultimate Megatron, Energon Starscream, Energon Soundwave, Energon Lockdown and Bludgeon. Then my three bot shots, Bumblebee, Skyquake, and Shockwave. And my alt modes, blind box things, with Bumblebee, Blue Streak, Sideswipe, the Silver Optimus Prime, Ultra Magnus, Optimus, Megatron, Starscream, Thundercracker, and Skywarp. And back there is that track that came with some of my Anchor Birds Transformers here. Alright, and then my G1 Season 1 crew, the Earth Mode stuff, and also Alita 1 and Chromia, because they look best here. Of course, obviously those two. Optimus, the Earthrise Optimus, the Studio Series 86 Ironhide, Titans Return Bumblebee, because I don't have the Studio Series 86 one yet. I will get it eventually. I've seen it in stores a few times, but every... but. Well, not a few times. I see it. I saw it once yesterday, actually. But I was getting something else at the time, and I have a feeling he'll be around for a while. So this Bumblebee will be ha taking his place until then. Studio Series eighty six Jazz, the Kingdom Mirage with Siege Mirage's shoulder cannon, just because I think that it looks nicer. And since he's further back, I I man, I thought I could get away with uh, doing that because Mirage without a shoulder cannon just looks wrong. Earthrise Cliff Jumper, Kingdom Huffer, Kingdom Sideswipe, Studio Series eighty six Brawn, Earthrise Sunstreaker, Power of the Primes Wind Charger, Studio Series eighty six Ratchet, and Earthrise Wheeljack. And for the Decepticons, we have. Earthrise Megatron, the Studio Series 86 Throne back there with some Energon cubes that came from Netflix Ultra Magnus, if you can see them back there. Siege Soundwave with Siege Laserbeak and Ravage, Studio Series 86 Rumble, and the uh, Generation Selects Frenzy in there. They call him Frenzy, I don't. It's Rumble, I don't care. And Siege, Shockwave, Earthrise, Thundercracker, Starscream, and Skywarp. And Siege, Reflector. All three of him there. And then for these guys, we got Season 2 Autobots with Studio Series 86 Blaster and Eject. The Legacy Rewind, Studio Series 86 Perceptor. Kingdom Tracks, Combiner Wars Power Glide, Kingdom Red Alert, Inferno and Warpath, Titans Return Sea Spray, Legacy Skids, Titans Return Cosmos, Earthrise Hoist and Grapple, and Power of the Primes Beachcomber. And over here, back to the Decepticons again. We have Legacy, Kickback, Shrapnel, and Bombshell. The uh, Earthrise, Astro Train, and Legacy Blitzwing. The Generation Selects Nightbird. And Earthrise, Thrust, and Legacy Dirge. And up here, really quick, I'll also show these guys. Uh, the Siege Jetfire. The Studio Series 86 Dinobots that I have so far, Snarl, Sludge, Grimlock, and Slag, and Combiners as well, my Combiner War, Silverbolt, and Hotspot. Now that they're making remakes of all the different Combiners, it's kind of sad that I went out of my way to at least get all of the 
combiner leaders, because now I'm not going to need any of them. But oh well. And, of course, this space is still reserved for whenever Devastator and other combiners come out. And my legacy Stunticons with Motormaster, Dragstrip, Dead End, and Wild Rider, and Combiner Wars Onslaught all by himself. And then for the Season 3, Autobots, with Power of the Prime's Tailgate, Earthrise Skylinks, Studio Series 86 Rekgar, Kingdom Rodimus Prime, Titans Return Broadside, Studio Series 86 RC, Siege Springer, Studio Series 86 Blur, Cup, Hot Rod, and Ultra Magnus. And for the Decepticons again, this is technically the Studio Series 86 sweep, but I use this as my Scourge because I could never find a Scourge. I think this looks a little bit nicer than the Scourge. I like the I like the lighter blue. And this is the Siege Fracus, Fracus, whatever you want to call him. This is the Legacy Galvatron without the battle damage and stuff and the not broken shoulders. Kingdom Cyclonus, Studio Series 86 Starscreen, um, Titans Return Octane, and Earthrise Run Amok and Runabout. Um, uh, what's next, what's next? Let's go with these first. Here's my Shattered Glass stuff with Starscream, Soundwave, Laserbeak, Ravage, Sideswipe, whichever Minicon this is. Yet again, I am terrible. I am terrible with Minicon and Micromaster names. So if I ever get... I, I, just, I just constantly forget them. I just don't... Minicons, Micromasters, and whenever Headmasters get their own individual names, I just always forget them. And I occasionally remember the Target Masters, but I, I, whatever, it doesn't matter. Moving on, the Power of the Primes, Rodimus, Unicronus, whatever, it's, it's Shattered Glass Rodimus Prime. If he got the Matrix, and here's Shattered Glass Rodimus, when he is normally... Because, of course, I like the idea of calling Shattered Glass Rodimus that because, like, he would prematurely call himself, like, a prime name before he got the Matrix. I, I like that idea, so I still call him Rodimus. And then Rewind and Goldbug and Blaster. Moving over here to my Transformers animated stuff with the Legacy Optimus and Bumblebee, Prowl, the uh, Deluxe uh, Battle, whatever. I forget what the name of the set was called, but it was the uh, Deluxe Optimus and Megatron here. And the original animated Grimlock and Snarl uh, and Soundwave with Laserbeak. I really got to get more animated stuff. Since it's my, even though it's my favorite show, I just have so little of it. I I need I need more animated in my life. I it, I need like multiple shelves of this stuff. <laughs> uh, let's go to Beast Wars next. Uh, the Maximals here. We have the Kingdom Optimus Primal, the Netflix Cheetor, um, more Kingdom with Dinobot, Tigotron, Air Razor, and Rhinox. This is the Thrilling 30 Rat Trap. And the Legacy Silverbolt. Right back there's Kingdom Grimlock. And Legacy Black Glio Convoy, whatever. I think that yeah, I think that's his name. It's the it's the it was the the more aggressive, not exactly evil clone of Lyo Convoy from that one episode. And, of course, Lyo Convoy, Leo Prime, Leo Convoy, Lyo Prime, whatever you want to call these. This guy's name's weird. And, uh, and, uh, Kingdom Skywarp, or Silverbolt. Not to be confused with this Silverbolt. They're both, in America, both their names were Silverbolt. But in Japan, this one's name was Skywarp. So I'm just going to go with that for now, because that's what was on the box. And for the Predacons, we got Kingdom Megatron, Sky, 
that's Sky, Sky, I almost said Skywarp or Skylinks. I don't know which one, but I'm just going to say one, one of those. That's Scorponok, Waspinator, Terrorsaur, and, and Legacy, uh, in, Inferno, Kingdom, Black Arachnia, that Hasbro Pulse, Ravage, that wasn't really part of any specific, specific toy line, and Legacy Tarantulas, the Transmetal 2 Megatron, and Legacy Magmatron. Down here is Cyberverse stuff. So you have the Cyberverse Deluxe Grimlock, Hot RC, and Hot Rod. And here we have one of those little tiny... This is the Prowl that came in the three-pack with the Quintesson and the Shockwave that you'll see later. And back there is the One-Step Wheeljack. And this is the Legacy Windblade. And this is, of course, the Cyberverse Tarn from the Legacy United 4-pack. The Legacy Shadow Striker, Cyberverse Deluxe, Starscream, Soundwave, and Shockwave. The Warrior Class Cybertronian Mode Megatron. And the Warrior Class Dead End. The Ultra Class Ramjet. And a bunch of Warrior Class Seekers with Thundercracker, Thrust, Skywarp, and Starscream back there. And over here, this is the Aligned Continuity Shelf with um, the Wreckers Amazon Exclusive Bulkhead, the R.A.D. R.C., and the um, Legacy R.C., and the Legacy United Cliff Jumper from the four pack. And there's the Legacy Thundertron, the Transformers Prime First Edition Starscream. And back here is the Robots in Disguise RID 2015, whatever Starscream, Skywarp, and Soundwave, the Warrior class figures. And here's the Amazon exclusive two pack thing with uh, Transformers Prime breakdown. And the R.E.D. Knockout, Legacy Knockout, and the Fall of Cybertron Starscream. Over here is the Generation 2 and comic book stuff shelf with Combiner Wars Ultra Magnus, Siege Impactor, the Legacy Toxitron whatever, Laser Cycle Jazz, uh, the... the um, Minimus Ambus from the that came with Ultra Magnus, the Earthrise Rung, and the Siege G2 Sideswipe. And here's the another one from the Legacy Toxitron collection, the uh, L Legacy Toxitron himself, the Thrilling Thirty Armada Starscream. I kind of use him as my IDW Starscream, and Legacy G Axis. Back there we have. The Generation Selects G2 Ramjet and Sandstorm and uh, Cloud Cover, the IDW Tarn and Flame War, and Barricade is still dead. Over here is Earth Spark with the del all the deluxes that I have because I have I got the full original set minus Shockwave because Shockwave was just Cyberverse again, Grimlock. Bumblebee, Optimus, Megatron, Nightshade, and Twitch, which means I also have Mandroid, and I have the one-step sound wave, because I love that sound wave design. And I also just have a one-step Bumblebee just hanging out over here in the corner. Down here is some Skylanders and Amiibo. Um, I'm not going to go over and name all of these, because it's probably not what you came here to see. But I'll point out my Amiibos, because I have the Toad, the Yarn Yoshi, Kelly Marie, Pearl Marina, Waluigi, Luigi, and to Yoshi, and all those. And for my movie stuff, I have the Studio Series, Air Razor, and the Rise of the Beasts RC. And one of the new things, finally, we made it to one of the new things today. This is the mainline uh, uh, Transformers 1 Orion Pax. 
Um, I plan on getting the Studio Series Optimus Prime later, and I want I I my original my main plan is to use this as my Orion Pax, even though it has the mouth plate. I like this as as Orion Pax. And if you notice, he's holding uh, an Energon cube that may look familiar, so you might know what's coming up later. And there's the Studio Series Wheeljack, Brawn, Sunstreaker, and RC there. And moving over to the other end of the movie stuff, we have the Studio Series Shockwave, Nightbird, Scorponok, Soundwave, Ravage, Blitzwing, Skywarp, Starscream, Thundercracker, Thrust, and another new one, Transformers 1 Megatron. This thing is so good. I, I love this Megatron so much. It's very nice. Impressive that they managed to make such a nice Megatron out of a deluxe class, budget, price point, whatever. It's very nice. I am a fan. And here's the whatever random crap section with a Rescue Bots Blades for some reason. A Thrilling 30 Rhinox, Power of the Primes Jazz, my entire Power of the Primes Dinobots with Grimlock, Snarl, Slag, Sludge, and Swoop. The uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife Collaborative, whatever, Ectotron. The Titans Return Alpha Trion. The Legacy United 4-Pack Tyrantulus. That Cyberverse Shockwave that came with Prowl and the Quintesson Judge from earlier. Uh, the R.E.D. Starscream. The Combiner Wars Desaurus, which is still a stupid, and I hate it. The R.E.D. Megatron. And the R.E.D. Soundwave. The Thrilling 30 Waspinator, and the little tiny Thrilling 30 Starscream, with an even smaller Thrilling 30 Waspinator, and some tiny Turbo Changer things from Cyberverse with Hot Rod and Megatron, and my Creos of Beachcomber, Alpha Trion, the Sharkticon, Sea Wing, Thrust, and Wild Rider. And moving over to the table. We have the retro headmasters of uh, Skullcruncher, Weird Wolf, and Mindwipe, the Siege Apeface, Earthrise Snapdragon, and Titans Return Six Shot, the, um, uh, the 35th Anniversary Siege Sound Blaster with the Generation Selects Wing Thing. This is the Earthrise Pounce and Wingspan, Titans Return Trigger Happy with the Siege Blowpipe. Legacy, uh, Legacy Bomb Burst, and Iguanus, Siege, Sky Tread, Flywheels, whatever you want to call him, and Power of the Primes, Battle Trap, Earthrise, Fast Track, si Siege, Spinister, the uh, Amazon exclusive Legacy uh, Bludgeon, and Legacy um, Skull Skullgrin. I can remember names. It's also from the Legacy 2-pack. Um, uh, uh, Ruckus, Crankcase, and Wind, Windsweeper. Legacy, uh, yeah. I'm going so fast I can barely keep up with my own brain. Um, Legacy Needle Nose, Titans Return Quake, and the final one from that one 4-pack, the um, Legacy United... Uh, Squeeze play slash cancer. Yes, haha, ha, that is his real name. Both of them make the jokes. They've already been made. And of course, the uh, legacy Black Zarak. No, it's Generation Select, sorry. And the Combiner Wars Kill Bison, Guy Hawk, Hellbat, and Drillhorn. The Power of the Primes Darkwing and Dreadwind. And Titans Return Overlord. And this is another one of the new things. I got the uh, Dino King set. And uh, so here we have uh, Doryu, um, Brain, Brain, Brain. No, this is Doryu. This is Yokuryu. And this is Go Ge Goryu, Kakuryu, Rareyu, and Garyu. It's 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 the Dino Force. These guys' names are hard to remember for anyone who doesn't know Japanese. I used to try to... There was a point where I... And also, just so you know, I, I did not actually remember those. I literally just have the box right down here. <laughs> 
But yeah, um, uh, I I think there was a, a little while there where I tried to remember like what their names like tr- kind of sort of translate to in English, but I just kind of gave up on trying to remember those. I when I watched this show with one of my friends, I just kind of gave them all gave them like the nicknames. Most of them we just talked about them as like similar to the Dinobots, and we got three horns and the rest. Really, that if if you watch Transformers Victory, you know it's just the Dino Force is just four guys and also Goryu and Kakuryu. Like you, in in the show itself, the these four do literally nothing, and the Dino Force entire character is just these two. They none of the others do anything. Anyway, back to the rest of the stuff. That's my little rant about the Dino Force. I love these guys, by the way. And I specifically chose to keep them all separated because I think it looks a little bit nicer that way. And I think we're running out of space for super tall guys. And we got Botcon, Leozak, the Hazlab Deathsaurus with the tiger chest, tiger breast, and the eagle breast, or breast, I forget what it's called, Earthrise Double Dealer. And the Generation Select Scar and Knock. The Hazlab, Fire, Peepo, Holy, and uh, Boater. Also, um, I believe in their English name. Actually, no, I'm not going to go over the English names. I'm not going to bother with it. Their Micromaster is not worth it. My brain's not going to function. Uh, Hazlab, Star Saber, and Victory Leo. The... Um, this is the Netflix rung that came with uh, Ultra Magnus and Legacy. Uh, bleh. Brain, why is my I'm I'm losing it with the names today. I'm struggling. Uh, Sideburn, that's his name. I, man, I, why am I failing so bad today? And uh, the Legacy Toe Line and Minerva, the Power of the Primes, Cloudburst, and Metalhawk. The Titans Return, Power Master, Optimus Prime. I'm using it as my Genrai, but whatever. It's still not a very good representation of either one. Legacy Metal Hawk. The uh, Amazon exclusive whatever punch, counterpunch, obviously in punch form. And Thrilling 30 Scoop with two Target Masters I can't remember. Legacy uh, Point Blank with another my Target Master I don't remember. Uh, Siege Crosshairs with another cro- Micro... Not Micro Master. That is a Target Master that I cannot remember. And uh, this is Generation Selects Art Fire with uh, uh, Nightstick. I think his is Nightstick or is it Fracas? I don't remember. It's oh No, it's Nightstick. I remember. I remember now. I, and this is uh, uh, Slam Dance, Grand Slam, Rain Dance, Slam Dance. This is Siege Slam Dance. So it always takes me a minute to remember the mic, the cassette combiners. Uh, Legacy Twin Cast. Uh, the retro reissues for retro, not reissues. These are retro headmasters um, for uh, Hardhead. Uh, t- um, uh, highbrow and brainstorm. I don't know why, but I almost called highbrow twin twist. I don't know what's going on with my brain today. I don't even have twin twist. And this is Titans Return Chrome Dome, and that Amazon exclusive two pack for Fast Lane and Cloud Raker. Over here is the masterpiece stuff with uh, masterpiece tracks, Shockwave, Star Scream, Soundwave. Rumble Frenzy, Buzzsaw, Ravage, and Laserbeak, and Nightbird. Oh yeah, don't question the um uh, the broken gaming chair that I had. This thing just collapsed on me a few days ago. This thing was pretty terrible. But I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time in this. But yeah, this is here. We're but I'm gonna throw it away and get rid of it sometime soon. But right now it's just living here. Um, Studio Series. It- uh, sorry, before I move on, I just want to say what, what this is. This is the Quintesson section with the Studio Series 86, Sharktacon, Gnaw, the Earthrise, Alicon, the Power of the Primes, Cutthroat, and Sinner Twin. 
the Netflix drone. I don't care. And yet another new thing that was foreshadowed by the, opt the Orion Pax earlier, the uh, Quintesson Commander. And as people keep complaining about the Quintesson not having multiple faces, guys... I know Season 3 gave up on it really quickly, but Quintessons don't only have five faces. That's just the judges. There are other forms of Quintessons. Remember these things, please. That's just with that, out, that rant out of the way. The Cyberverse Quintesson Judge. The one Quintesson I do have with the five traditional five faces. The Titans Return Gnaw, and the Cyberverse Gnaw. And that's the Quintessons I have. Here's what I kind of like to call my my uh, e-hobby repaints section with the Detritus, Crosscut, Road Rage, Clampdown, Exhaust, um, Deep Cover, and uh, Hauler with Astro Train's little back thing because I wanted to have I wanted to make use of the claw somehow. And Hauler, and since Hauler canonically only appears in his alt mode in in any fiction, and his face looks really weird because he has the permanent scream on him, I thought it would be fitting to have him be the one to use the claw thing. And my the two of the primes that I have so far at this moment, the Legacy Vector Prime, and uh, the. Uh, Hasbro Pulse. I think it was Hasbro Pulse exclusive. I don't even remember. But it's the Alpha Trion and the key to, with his key to Vector Sigma and obviously Vector Sigma itself. And the Orion Pax, Dion, and Ariel. Because of course those have to be together. And here's the my uh, Cybertron Cybertronian area section, whatever. This is the uh, I, this is the Siege Ultra Magnus, and this is the Netflix Ultra Magnus with the Siege armor on it, because I don't like the Netflix Ultra Magnus' armor, but I wanted to have both a, an, an, a normal, like, armorless Ultra Magnus and an armored Siege Ma Magnus on the table. So this, is, this was my compromise and setup for that. And there's my Siege Mirage with the Kingdom Mirage's shoulder cannon because it just looks worse. And I, I thought I'd give the worse accessory to the worse overall figure. The Siege Sideswipe. The uh, Kingdom RC with the uh, Red Cog. And this is the Netflix Elita 1. Right down here. I can't really get a good look at her because Optimus's gun is in the way. But you know, she's there. The Siege Hound with one of the accessories from from the in from the uh, Inferno and uh, Grapple Hook mold, not hook mold. Why I can't words today? I am failing miserably. I apologize. It's just one of those like hand replacement gun accessories because I wanted to give Ratchet his stuff back. I thought this was the best compromise. I think this is the one that came from Artfire. I could be wrong. It might be Haulers. And uh, Red Alert. Siege Red Alert. The uh, 35th Anniversary Blue Streak. And the 35th Anniversary Optimus. Uh, I believe this is the uh, Netflix Lionizer. The Legacy Origins Jazz. And the Origins Bumblebee. The Siege Ironhide. Chromia. And Ratchet. And here's the Netflix deep cover, which I kind of use as like a representation of those dumb Netflix side swipe repaints that were everywhere in the show. And my generation selects Smokescreen, who is still partially broken. And here's the 35th anniversary Megatron, the Siege Megatron, and the Netflix Megatron. And each and both of the ones in robot mode have a sound wave gun. I believe this one came from the shattered glass sound wave, the one on his back, and the one on this one's back came from either sound blaster or sound wave. I don't know which. They look the same. And here's the siege, acid storm, ion storm, a nova storm, thundercracker, starscream, 
and Skywarp, the Netflix Hotlink, Siege Terror Daxtel, I believe his name is. This is the Netflix Sparkless Bot, and the Amazon exclusive Legacy Nacelle. And yes, his name is pronounced Nacelle. Stop saying his name wrong. It's not Nacelle. It's not Nacelle. It's not Nacelle or whatever. Say his name right, people. Respect for Nacelle. I am an. I am. A, yes, I'm obsessed with Seekers. Could you tell? I'm really sad I never got to the chance to get a hold of Red Wing, by the way. I, 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 I need more Seekers. I'm so glad that they reissued Ramjet, because my Coneheads up there look so wrong without the third up there. Because I have, I have like the perfect like setup for like the two trios and then the triple changers with Nightbird in the middle. I just, I just need, I need Ramjet. Come on, Hasbro, I need it now. Thank you for reissuing them, but please, I need it. And uh, moving on from my Seeker rant, we have uh, Power of the Primes, Rodimus Prime, and Optimus Prime. This is the Kingdom Ultra Magnus, the Kingdom Blaster with Eject in there. I keep that Eject in cassette mode now because I fear clear plastic immensely. And this is the Reveal the Shield Jazz, the Titans Return Cup, and Hot Rod. This is the Studio Series 86 Dead slash Dying Ironhide and Prowl. And the Titans Return Brawn. And uh, this is the Netflix Wheeljack with some of the parts from Red Cog. I put the parts from Red Cog all over the place, so I, po I apologize if I forget to mention where I put some of them. I know I gave some of them to... Uh, oh yeah, I gave the rest of them to Elita One and Chromia over here. And here's the let the uh, reveal the shield tracks, Titans Return Blur, the United. I think this was no, this was Universe, uh, Sunstreaker, and the United tracks. And over here is the United Megatron. Now, so when I say United, do not confuse it with Legacy United. There was a toy line in Japan called United, and it was their version of a uh, Universe. No, no, it was like their version of Generations for a while before they had uh, Legends. And I have the tracks and Megatron from that toy line. And the Combiner War is Megatron, and its only redeeming quality is its amazingly beautiful tank mode, and that is the mode in which it will stay. And there's my classic Seekers, Skywarp, who's tragically missing a wing that broke off during shipping. Curse you, mail the mail system. I can't think of words right now, but I make funny joke about the 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 mail system being bad here. Ha ha ha! And then Thundercracker, Acid Storm, Star Scream, Thrust, Ramjet, and Dirge. The Combiner Wars, Star Scream, Titans Return, Blitzwing, Soundwave, Laserbeak. Frenzy and Ravage. Yes, I'm calling him Frenzy. I don't care. Titans Return Scourge. Titans Return Kickback. Power of the Prime Shrapnel. And Combiner Wars Bombshell. And yeah, that is basically it. I could like try and go over all the other stuff. Like I could show the Skylanders and stuff. But I guess I'll at the very least I might as well show the how things are going here with my these are my personal transformers opening scissors and my gaming stuff i don't keep all of my gaming stuff out on this table here but i keep most of it out at the very least well the most of the stuff that i would use on a somewhat regular basis at least and of course these two here I do keep some of the stuff stored under the shelves. If you, if you notice, there's some space under there. But I'm I'm going to stop talking about things and just end off the video because I just need to stop talking and I can't think of anything else to say that's productive. So thank you everybody for watching and thank you. You've been a great audience. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more hyperlink blocked. <laughs>
Ha <laughs> ha!